In this video, we will be multiplying two unsigned numbers using Booth's algorithm. Here is a flow chart. First, we have to start and make some initializations. That is, we have to initialize register A to 0, Q minus 1 register to 0, assume M to be the multiplicand, Q to be the multiplier, and N to be number of bits. And later, we have to uh, use this Q register. It is actually a 4-bit register. And choose just Q0, the last bit of Q register. And Q-1 register that we have initialized. We have to check the bits available in Q0 and Q-1. We have four possibilities. It may be 00, 01, 10 or 11. If the bits are equal to 00 or 11, we have to just shift the content of A, Q, Q-1 to right, reduce N by 1 and check whether N is equal to 0 or not. If it is 0, we can stop. If it is not, then we have to proceed with the algorithm once again. If it is 0, 1, we have to just add the contents of A with the contents of M, that is your multiplicand, and store it back in A and again shift. After replacing the value a with the new value of a plus m we have to shift that content with q q minus 1 and so on reduce n by 1 check whether it is equal to 0 if it is not we can come back and proceed once again if it is equal to 1 0 we have to subtract m from a and restore the value a here and then come back and shift once again Reduce n by 1. We have to check whether n is equal to 0 or not. If it is yes, we can stop. If not, we can redo with the algorithm. So, this is the general booth algorithm procedure. With this flow chart as an idea, we will continue to do a problem by multiplying two unsigned numbers. Here we are assuming two unsigned numbers 5 and 6 where 5 multiplied by 6 will be equal to 30. And here are some initializations that we have assumed. A will be equal to all zeros. Q minus 1 equal to 0. M will be the multiplicand. Q will be the multiplier. And N the number of bits. When we try to multiply two different values, the first value will be M, which is multiplicand. And the second one will be Q, which is the multiplier. So right now look into the table. 5 is a multiplicand, 6 is the multiplier. When it is 5, the binary equivalent is 0, 1, 0, 1. 6 binary equivalent will be 0, 1, 1, 0. What is the total number of bits? 1, 2, 3, 4. Therefore, n will be equal to 4. So, with all these initializations, let us do the problem. So, what is A? A is 0, 0, 0, 0. What is Q? Q is a multiplier which is nothing but 0, double 1, 0. 0, 1, 1, 0. And Q minus 1 is initialized to 0. So, here is a first step. We have made all A is equal to 0. We have initialized Q and as well as Q minus 1. Now, what we have to do in the flow chart, we have made all initializations. We have to check Q0 and Q-1. So, this is a bit Q0 and here is Q-1. Both are 0. When both the bits are 0, what we have to do? Just arithmetic right shift, reduce n by 1 and proceed with the algorithm. So, right now, what, what is the total number of bits? 1, 2, 3, 4. We have 4. So, n is equal to 4. We have written. So, if it is 0, 0, we know that it is just right arithmetic right shift. So, arithmetic right shift. So, what we are going to do? Bring q to q minus 1. So, it will be 0. Write the remaining 3 bits as such. And bring the value last bit of a here. It will be 0, 0, 1, 1 now. And there are 3 remaining bits in A. Write all 3 bits here. 0, 0, 0 and copy the first bit here. 
So first step is done. Right now you have to reduce n by n minus 1. So it will be 3. Again we have to check whether n is equal to 0. No. So we have to continue with the procedure. What should we do? We have to check q0 and q minus 1. What is q0 and q minus 1? It is 1, 0. If it is 1, 0, what we have to do? a minus m, perform the operation, dump it into a. So, a equal to a minus m or this is equivalent to a plus 2's complement of m. Both are equal. Now, what is in a register? a register holds the value 0, 0, 0, 0. Now, we have to find what is m. m is nothing but the multiplicand. What is the multiplicand? 0, 1, 0, 1. 0, 1, 0, 1. So, we can perform a minus m or a plus 2's complement of m. Both are equal. So, let us find 2's complement of m. In order to do that, first we have to find 1's complement of m. Just invert the value 1, 0, 1, 0. Add 1 along with it. 0 plus 1, 1, 1, 0, 1. This is the 2's complement of m. Right now, a is equal to 0, 0, 0, 0. Two's complement of m, we have found it to be 1, 0, 1, 1. If we add, it is again 1, 0, 1, 1. Replace this value for a. It is 1, 0, 1, 1. And write q as such, 0, 0, 1, 1. And q minus 1 as such, 0. Then what should we do? After performing this operation, we have to go for a right shift, arithmetic right shift. So what will happen? This 1 will be here for q minus 1. We have to write the remaining 3 bits as such. Shift 1 here. So it will be 1 0 1 1. Write the 3 remaining bits 1 0 1. Copy the last bit and write here. It will be 1 1 0 1. Now what should we do? Reduce n by 1. It will be 2. Whether it is equal to 0? No. Therefore, we are going to proceed with the algorithm once again. So, what is q0 and q-1? It is 1, 1. When it is 1, 1, what we have to do? If it is 0, 0 or 1, 1, for both the values, we are just going to shift right, arithmetic shift. Okay. So, what, what we can do? Shift the value 1. Write the 3 bits as such. Bring the last value here which will be 1. Write the remaining bits as such. Bring down the last bit. Write it once again. So this becomes the value. 1, triple 1, 0, double 1, double 0 and 1. Now what we have to do? Again reduce n by 1. So n will become 1. Whether it is equal to 0? No. So proceed with the algorithm. Now what we have to do? Again, we have to check the last two bits, q0 and q-1. It is 0 and 1. If it is 0, 1, what, what should we do? a equal to a plus m. So, what is in a register now? 1, 1, 1, 0. Okay, this is the content of a register. What is m? m is 0, 1, 0, 1. m equal to 0, 1, 0, 1. We have to add these two. So 1, 1, 1 plus 1, 0. So carry. 1 plus 1, 0. You will have a carry. Let us discard. It is double 0, double 1. We have to write here. Double 0, double 1. What is Q? It is already 1, 1, 0, 0. What is Q minus 1? It is 1. Now what we have to do? A equal to A plus M is done. Next we have to go for arithmetic right shift. So what happens? We have to bring 0 here. Write remaining 3 values as such. Bring 1 from A. Write it here. Remaining 3 bits of A write as such. Copy the last bit and write here. So after right shift what should we do? We have to reduce n by 1. If you reduce n by 1 what will happen? n will be equal to 0. When n is equal to 0 the algorithm stops. So, what is the final value? This is what. 
the final values. So 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Now we have to check whether this is equal to 30 because we are ought to multiply 5 into 6 which results in 30. So this should be equal to 8, 4, 2, 1, 16. So which is equal to 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2. So 8 plus 2, 10. Uh, 6 plus 4 again 10, another 10 here, so 30. So we have multiplied using Booth algorithm and we finally reached this answer 30. We have digitalized the complete content here for reference. We received the last answer as 0001 in A register and 0110 in Q register. So I am rewriting it once again 00011110. If you add its weightages, it will be 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2, which is equal to 30. When you multiply the multiplicand and multiplier, which was initially assumed, which was 5 and 6, if you multiply those two, 5 into 6, which will be 30. We reached 30 directly and also by using Booth algorithm. Both are now equal. I hope the explanation was clear. Thanks for watching the video.